high school ball player from Mount Vernon High School. I've known him since he was a little kid. He's got a very good attitude. He loves basketball. He's from a very nice family. Good ball handler. He's a very good floor general. Plays the point. Uh, good shooter. Very quick hands. Very quick feet. Uh, good passer. Defense is good. He's learning the game and he's, he loves the game. Benjamin Ashinafi Gordon, born April 4th, 1983. Today's feature is one of my favorite guards of all time, and a guy I thought could have been a great in the NBA. While he did have a solid 10 plus year career, for these reasons, I think he didn't become the player he was gifted to be. Let's get into why he wasn't. It's your boy JC Stunner Growth. Ash, get it. Ben was born in London, England and moved to New York at an early age where he would make a name for himself as one of the best guards from the East Coast and definitely one of the most popular. He led his high school team to the New York State Public and Federation Championship, was an all-state player and a highly recruited guard that could have went to any top named school but he decided to attend the University of Connecticut. And this is where we'd all become familiar with the stocky guard who, in my opinion, was everything God Sham God was supposed to be if he were bigger and a better shooter. Selecting UConn was the perfect choice for his style of play, especially at the time he went there. If you ask me, this was the best era in the history for East Coast schools, guards, and that raw East Coast style of play. The Big East was lit. Guys like Randy Foy, Alan Ray, Carmelo Anthony, Andre Barrett, who was a killer in college and one of the smoothest light-skinned guards you will ever watch. Karan Butler, Quincy Doobie, Kyle Krauser. The Big East was flourishing in the early 2000s, and Ben, at times, was at the top of that list. As a freshman at UConn, he would hit a game-winning shot against Villanova that made the world take notice. He finished the season averaging 12 points per game and shooting 41% from three. Kid had game, man. Super handle, strong, smooth, could shoot the lights out and would take off on you, finishing with a dunk or a crafty layup. His sophomore year is when Ben really established himself as one of the best players in college basketball. He averaged 19 points per game, had a 40-40-80 season, and was second team all Big East. But his junior year is when he really took off. He averaged a team leading 20 points per game, four rebounds, and four assists. He also connected on 104 three-pointers, the second highest single season total in Connecticut's history. Gordon set a Big East tournament record with 81 total points, earning the tournament's most outstanding performer. I actually got to see him play live because his game was right before one of ours. And let me tell you, I watched every dribble he took. He made it seem like you just couldn't stop him from doing anything he wanted. A quiet demeanor, but just a complete killer inside. He dominated guards at the college level and increased his productivity every year. I just knew this was the best guard I've ever seen in person at that level. He and Jameer Nelson, who probably takes that spot because he was just unreal in college. After leading his team to a national championship in 2004, Gordon would enter the draft and was a clear cut top five pick. Stunt number one, at this level, they see right through you. In the NBA, grown men are paid to build a scheme to defend a good scorer. A good player knows this and develops schemes in his game that protects against this in order to make himself a more well-rounded task to defend. Part of that as a guard 6263 is developing point guard skills as well as off the ball skills. Ben was a natural off the ball, which is where he spent most of the time in college and a position that he had most of his success in his final year at UConn with Marcus Williams handling most of the point guard duties. Where he lacked was at the one. He had no true point guard skills of getting people open shots, pushing the ball, creating a scene for others, or being a vocal leader. He was a scorer, and that's it. It's what ultimately made him a one-dimensional player and stunted his overall growth. Gordon was selected with the third overall pick by the Chicago Bulls and came into his first year and helped lead a lottery team to the playoffs. He averaged 15.7 points per game as a rookie, two rebounds, and just one assist. He was an all-rookie performer, and get this, the first rookie to win the NBA Sixth Man of the Year award. Now I get it. I'm speaking nothing but accolades for this player. How can I say his growth was stunted then? Well, simple. Each player has a ceiling unique to only them, 
and in some cases, a ceiling we compare them to and expect them to reach. Ben showed us in his first year that he could be an all-star and dominant player in the league, and that never happened. One of the things that stunted his growth was that he couldn't play any other position. That didn't stop him from putting up numbers and scoring the ball, but it hurt his overall game and made him a commodity. Add in the fact he was terrible taking care of the ball when he did play the one, almost averaging more turnovers than assists for his career. Stunt number two, now that they see who you are, they know your worth. In his third, fourth, and fifth year, Gordon was already establishing himself as a solid scoring option that could potentially be an all-star one day. He had his best chances of that in 06-07. He scored a career-high 48 points, leading a miraculous comeback effort to win 126-121 in overtime against the Milwaukee Bucks, and a playoff series win over the Miami Heat, the team that beat them the previous year, and defending champions. And this is where Gordon made a move that would help stun his growth. Prior to the next season, the Bulls would offer him a $55 million extension, which he turned down, thinking he could get more money as a free agent. This was a mistake. Although Gordon didn't have the point guard skills needed to be a franchise guard, he fit perfectly with the Bulls and their future. The Bulls would have a down season in 07-08, fired their coach, and drafted the heir to the throne in Derrick Rose, a perfect fit for Ben's game. He no longer had to worry about playing point and could solely focus on the two. It worked to near perfection as Chicago made the playoffs again and had an epic Game 7 series against the champion Boston Celtics. Ben was amazing in that series and for the year. Had he signed that extension, he'd still be a bull and make a few all-stars along with D. Rose. Ben took a $6 million qualifying offer from the Bulls, finished the season without securing the bag he wanted, and entered free agency. A bad move in my opinion. Not because of the money, but because he wound it up in a terrible situation and even worse ones down the line. Stunt number three, not the fit he was hoping. Gordon would go on to take the same amount of money to play for a team and city I think was the worst fit for him as a player. The Pistons played a grinded out defensive style, weren't on any TV slots, and had a few guards that played similar to Gordon already in Will Bynum and Rodney Stuckey. Ben went from 20 points per game with the Bulls to 13 points per game, 11 points per game, and 12 points per game in his three seasons as a Piston. Maybe the worst fall off in production of all time by a player that made the decisions he made. After three seasons there, Ben would be traded to the Charlotte Bobcats in 2012, where he was just a shell of the player we once knew him to be. Stints in Orlando, Golden State, and even the D-League would finish off his letdown, by some standards anyway, of a career. Super love for Ben as one of my favorite guards, but for these reasons, he just didn't live up to that third pick and dominance we thought he could. And now at this time, man, I want to salute to this giveaway's winner, Sunny7, my first ever subscriber and has been holding it down in the comments for a while. Salute to you, man. It's your boy JC Stunted Growth, and I'm out.